Hi everybody, I had a lot of work to do on this little one. This is a little mini pony that I was called in to help and look at these feet. They are so long and overgrown. The pony's having a hard time walking and even standing because these heels are so long and underrun and curled up. So I was excited to get started on this and help this pony feel better. Yes, little one, come and step into my office. <laughs> I was talking about the heels, but look at these toes. Oh my goodness, so much length in the toe. Just all over this hoof is so overgrown. Here we're looking at the right hind hoof. This is the only hoof that I recorded the entire trim process because it would have been too long of a video um, recording all four hooves being trimmed. So anyway, we're getting started here. I just removed some of the overgrown frog and now I'm cleaning up the sole. I love doing trims like these because I just find them very fun and interesting and very satisfying. Not only because of the transformation, but imagine how much better this pony is going to feel. The reason why this sole here is so flaky is because, again, the hoof is so overgrown. So we have a lot of uh, sole that would have normally exfoliated on its own, but it hasn't because it's stuck in all this excess hoof growth. So I like to start at the sole and I'm just kind of flaking as much as I can away. See those heels and that toe? Look at that. It's just like a big, huge bowl. Um, definitely very distorted and long. So here's my first nipper run. The first of three times around. Normally, in a maintenance trim, we're looking at one time around and much less hoof being taken off. And there we go. The first time around is all done. There's the first piece of hoof that I took off. And we're still not done yet. This is nipper run number two. back at it again so here I am removing more sole I'm trying to find the live sole so I know when we're getting closer to the ideal hoof all right and here we go with nipper run number three time for the rasp so here I am putting a roll on the outside wall and cleaning things up a bit You can see the foot has come a long way from where we started. Here's the before trim picture, and this is after. After trim, right hind. Before the trim, right hind. Before trim, right hind. Looking more at the toe here, and that is the after. And here are both front hooves. So we're going to the front now. Here is the after trim of the front hooves. Again, front hooves before and front hooves after. Let's take a look at the hinds. This is before and these are the hind feet after the trim. All done and so much better. Look how she was standing before and then after. So much more comfortable. Hi, you little cutie. She's still walking a little stiff. We did have to sedate her a little. And of course, she's going to have to adjust to the feeling of her new feet. But I think she's happy.